Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... That monster, her mother. Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well, along with those eerie jeers. Talking about cognitive science? You're going to die! There is no meaning to your life! No one needs you! Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up. So, because she thinks she killed her mother. And because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us. He said she did her best to raise you alone. Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ugh! You made your mother destroy all her research, Vitabachan. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind, and it's all because of you. It's your fault! Mom! I... I... It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints... about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart! Get mad! 
Don't forgive those rotten adults! It's because I couldn't face myself. Or Mom's death. Even then... Why did they have to yell at me like that? Utabachan? What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. And yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault! This time you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you were told? Who will you obey? First words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! Oh my god, that scene is- Oh my god, just that snapshot of- Snap that, please, holy shit, that's one of the- This is my heart's world, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. Okay. A, a ballista? Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it. Ah, I get it now. Let's go. Okay. You're gonna fire that giant arrow thing, right? Yes. <laughs> Mind if I do it? Well, since you're volunteering, go ahead, Ryuji. Okay, so you have to spend at least like two turns to um to do this though. But now we can actually shoot her down to make it fight a hell of a lot easier. Cause it's like slam. Okay, well whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Izanagi. Okay, good thing I sent out Ryuji. Ow. Okay. I believe it takes like... Oh, is it right now though? I'm pretty sure it should be like one more time. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's one more time. Okay. Well, basically, yeah, this, this is pretty much how you have to do this fight now. I like how it, al I like how it is also playing willpower instead. I mean, like, I think I like blooming... No, I actually do like willpower more than blooming villain. All right, there you go. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah, and that's it. All right. Okay, so even though you can do an all-out attack and it'll probably do a decent amount of damage though, apparently the trick to doing this fight is using physical when she's down. So for that measure, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright. So yeah, just 
Just physical. See, it does so much damage. Okay. So I think... Oh god. That feel when she can only do physical! Oh god! That's right. Well, not like anyone else would have been better. Uh... Yeah. Sorry, Makoto. You're on healing duty. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Alright, assault dive. Yeah, that's exactly why I bought Ryuji in this fight. Um... I think you only get like... You probably only get like two turns max. And then you have to, um... Go back to, um, normal. Yeah. Okay, so this is probably like the last turn, and then she'll probably get it back up. Well, problem is, I actually don't have, um... You know what I don't have? I don't have, um... Oh, I should have... Oh, I should have done it on myself. Oh, well. <laughs> I should have, um... Yeah, well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, now she gets back up. And then the fight will resume as normal. Well, I mean, we did, like, half her health, so that's pretty good. Um... Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, okay. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. We're gonna fire that giant arrow thing, right? Well, yeah, I mean, of course. Me again? Oh, my hands are still numb from shooting it earlier. Yeah, I have a feeling you... Because I'm not going to chance that. I'll shoot it. Go, Yusuke. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to chance it, dude. I think I remember the first time I did this. Um, I actually did do um, Yusuke right. for the first time. But I don't remember who I did for the second time. Okay, so I know he did... Okay, so I'm just going to do this. All right. Thanks. I mean, it sucks that I, d I mean, it sucks that I can't do physical, but... I won't nullify physical, but... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that was in the trailer. <laughs> no, not the scream again. I don't know what it does. Oh, what? That's actually really annoying. Crap. So, I think... Yeah, we lose SP. Oh wow, that's uh, really annoying. I might, I can't, I don't. Yeah, we might as well. Okay. I'm not gonna chance that, dude. Okay, well that's bad. Yeah, that's why. See, I'm okay, but not Ryuji. <laughs> wow. Well, that's what I get, I guess. Well, that's actually a really bad timing, huh? I mean, that was great that we actually got the... That we got that, but now I can't even... I can't even do anything because I'm despaired. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That sucks. Yeah. Wow, that sucks so much, dude. You have no idea. <laughs> well, I guess I, let's, I actually thought about that. Oh, uh, I'm not going to chance that. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit, dog. Yes, and for that reason alone... <laughs> Alright, sorry Ryuji, you're not going to be very useful. Okay, this... <laughs> this should finish her! Oh, almost. Alright, get him, Yusuke. Oh, what? Seriously? Oh, God. Uh... Wait! Wait, holy... Sh Wait, why is she not dead? Oh god. Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, this guard. 
So do I have to just shoot her down one more time then, I'm assuming? Yeah, because that was weird. Why did you, why did, What? Oh god, come on, not again, dude. Oh, thank god it's you missed. Oh, this again. Oh. It's back at it again. I can tell with my persona. I'll let you know when the enemy's approaching. You're still okay. It's far away right now. We're going to fire that giant arrow thing, right? Yeah. You want you like me once more. But my hands are still sore. You want me to fire it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't think we have to worry. It's too far away. <laughs> I'm beat. It's coming in hot. Oh, shit. Oh, Makoto, she get Okay, we have to just survive this, this onslaught. Damn, so you have to literally go through your entire team. That actually sucks. Okay, well... Just guard. Just guard! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, and then she died. Wait, oh my god. Well, of course, I had to finish him off in style. God, you couldn't have... Oh, my God. It had to just be like that. Seriously, dude. That sucks. <laughs> you could have finished her off, but nope. You had to be flashy. All right, well, at least we all leveled up. Thank God. Man. Ooh, yeah, Madarama. Give me that. Like to try this skill soon. Hmm, this skill physical damage. I, uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> oh, get rid of uh Freya. Nice, okay. Wow, that sucked, dude. You, I couldn't finish all the balls just because I had to look cool. Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight. Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. Right, Majid. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? <laughs> you're one to talk, dude. Like you're one to talk. <laughs> Called it. But if we have her on our side. Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? 
What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. That actually does kind of make sense in the context of things. Futaba would like throw herself in there. Oh yeah, cutscene. We've seen this before actually. Damn, that girl has mad driving skills. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. That's why she's the best. <laughs> oh, oh. You guys still alive? Oh my, what's going on over there? I thought I was gonna die. And, uh, hey, will you let go already? <laughs> Sorry. Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... Reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. God damn it! <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Oh yes, me and Makoto. Oh yes, baby. Of course, we have to do every. Oh. Futaba. Can you hear me? Please say something. Please. Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? Oh yeah, that's right. A house call is going to cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! 
Uh. Oh dear. Uh. Um, about Futaba. Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay, but what are we gonna do about Medjed? <sighs> she's up! Mm, Medjed. <sighs> Tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again?! Futaba-chan! <sighs> a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. <laughs> God, imagine doing this from, like, day one, when you can actually start the social link. <laughs> Just imagine how long this girl sleeps. <laughs> Jesus! All right. Alright, well, well, that's annoying. Now we gotta wait for, um, Fujikaba's recovery. It's like waiting for P4. Oh, yes. That's, that's right, dude. Okay. Massage me, lady. So stiff. Like right here. And here. <laughs> well, I mean, I did find... Master? Well, I mean, I did just find a weird chimera monster though, thing. See you later. Okay. Bye, Kawakami. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> oh, you know what? The best part, actually. <laughs> you know what the best part about this is? I'm gonna call her again. <laughs> All right. And one more. Yes. Hi. <laughs> yeah, laundry. Yep, get to work, lady. <laughs> All right, God, I love this. I love having my own personal maid. All right. Um, I got a massage. Oh, we get to start a new social link. Oh, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> 